Are you ready to get some practice on your postdoctoral fellowship interview? If so, stick around and let's do this thing here on this episode of Navigating Academia. What's up, everybody? My name is Dr. J. Phoenix Singh, and I want to warmly welcome you to this unique episode of Navigating Academia, your leading source for guidance on how to advance your career in academia. Please do, before we get started, take a moment to like and share this video with your friends, with your colleagues, with your students, uh, and with your fellow postdoctoral fellowship applicants. Uh, you can follow us via the social media sites below, and please do make sure to subscribe and hit that bell to get notifications every time that we post a new video. All right, so let's jump right into it. Today we're going to be doing a practice interview that you may actually have for getting into a postdoctoral research fellowship program. Now, usually part of the application process is doing an interview and it could be over the phone, it could be in person, it could be via something like Skype. Uh, really, these days it can be done remotely as well as in person. It really depends on the program to which you have applied and where it's located. But regardless, what I've done is I found some of the most commonly asked questions when it comes to postdoctoral interviews and I'd like to ask them one at a time. So what's going to happen here in a moment is that some instructions are going to come up on the screen that last for about 20 seconds and then immediately after that we're going to jump right into it. You're going to see you're going to have 30 seconds to be able to answer every single question. It's going to give you some other very brief guidelines that I really want you to follow. I want you to be able to practice doing this interview in as many contexts as possible. Do it in a noisy environment, a quiet environment. I want you to do it around people you're comfortable with and people maybe you've never even met before. I really want you to get practice to be able to build these healthy habits because remember, this is all about state-dependent memory. This is something where if you only practice alone in your bedroom looking in the mirror, it's gonna be really uncomfortable if you're in a noisy environment trying to do your interview in person or remotely. So I want to prepare you for every possible circumstance, all right? Now, for this video, I want you to watch it all the way through and practice as many times as you want to and need to to get these answers down pat. Are you ready? Let's get these instructions up and let's rock. Welcome, thank you so much for sitting down with us for this interview. What I'd like to do to get started is, uh, can you tell us uh, all a little bit about yourself? Mm-hmm. All right, you know, we, we've had a chance to, to take a brief look at it, but maybe you can tell us about your doctoral dissertation. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And why are you interested in this postdoc position? Mm All right, and what would you say are the unique skills 
and experiences that you're going to be bringing to our department. Mm-hmm. 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 All right, and tell us about the research that you hope to do as part of your fellowship. Mm hmm. Hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. And what's your teaching philosophy, would you say? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, coming into the department, what would you say are your biggest strengths and weaknesses? Mm -hmm. And can you tell us a little bit about your supervisory experience in graduate school? And if I asked your graduate supervisor about your work style, what would they say? Mm-hmm. Now, what's the best team that you've ever worked on, and what made it function so well? And what do you think is going to be the most challenging part of your transition from graduate school to the postdoctoral fellowship? Now, how do you handle stress? Mm-hmm. 
What are your long-term career goals for after you've completed the fellowship? Why are you the best candidate for this position? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what else do you think we should know about you before we close? Mm -hmm. And finally, what questions do you have for us? You can go ahead and ask several and then we'll we'll get to them in a moment. Mhm. Mm okay. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Okay, well, thank you so much for coming and speaking with us. We've certainly enjoyed having you. Uh, looks like we're running out of time here, so I guess we'll get to those questions you had for us uh, another time. But uh, again, thank you for joining us, and we'll be sure to get back to you about this. All right, congratulations. You are done with this practice session. Remember to watch it as many times as you need to to be able to get as much practice as you can and in as many contexts as you can. Now, please do take a moment to like and share this video with your friends, with your colleagues, with your students. Subscribe to our channel and comment below. I want to hear from you. If maybe you've already completed a postdoctoral fellowship interview, tell us about it. What was your experience? What questions did you get asked? Was there anything really crazy or maybe something really mundane that we didn't cover in this interview? Remember that we're all in this thing together and let's chat about it as a community. If you're interested in one-on-one -on -one career coaching, please do set a one-hour consultation call with me via the website below. And let's talk about actually creating a customized, a uniquely tailored interview specifically for you so that you can practice. And not only one time, but over and over again as many times as you like with me as well as by yourself. So get in touch with me and let's do it. Signing off everyone, I hope you have a great day and enjoyed this video. Please do get out there today, take chances, and be your best self. Thank you so much for stopping by, everyone. It's a pleasure to have you here as always. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more in this series on navigating academia, please click on one of these links over here to be able to view more original content. I hope to see you there.